What's up, everybody? Noah Kaser back here for my thoughts on F9. This is one of my favorite things that I have. This is my Dominic Toretto replica cross necklace. I've been wanting one of these for a long time, and I definitely will be wearing this when the movie comes out on June 25th. I'm hoping that there there will be a premiere night on Thursday night for it. Uh, June 25th, F9 is rated PG-13 with a 2-hour and 25-minute runtime. You could give me a 4-hour film, and I would be happy. Because I'm going to eat this up. When I go into this movie, before I go into the trailer itself, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen when I walk into that theater, okay? To watch this film, I'm not going in there to, first of all, review it. I'm going to review the movie, yes, but that's not why I'm going there. The Fast and the Furious saga. The series, this franchise, means a lot to me. Does it have the best films in the world? No. But, I love these characters, love the actors, and I love ju just the story. I, I, I love the feeling of family. Uh, if you've seen the movie and you get that reference, great. I'm going to go in here, first of all, as a fan of the film. The fan of the franchise, and I believe that this film is going to be uh, a, another Fast and Furious film that does come with a couple twists here and there, like uh, like the Fate of the Furious did, because a lot of people did not see that coming. I think they they found out that that they can probably get away with a couple cameos, like with Hobbs and Shaw. Is this going to end with a cliffhanger? I don't think so. I think this is going to end with a family dinner like the rest of the films do. F9, let's get into the trailer, shall we? This trailer gave us a brand new look. A brand new look at what this film is all about. We knew the story of this film. Dominic Toretto is leading a quiet life off the grid with Letty and his son, little Brian. And danger is right around the corner. And his his uh, his brother named Jacob, played by John Cena, comes in and, and is ordered to kill him once again by the uh, by, by the villain of uh, of the Fate of the Furious Cipher. Again played by Charlize Theron. We do get Magdalene Shaw back here. Are we going to get a lot of her in these films? I think she she was so well loved in in the Fate of the Furious. I think they had to bring her back. Uh, again directed by Justin Lin. This film is not going to win awards. It's not going well, legitimate awards. Now I am I am not talking about the MTV awards. This film is going to have a great feeling of family. It's going to have a great great bits of comedy here and there. We got a bit more with Han, and I think this action looks outrageous. This movie is right up my alley. Just a fun action film. I think I'm going to have a big smile on my face throughout the whole entire thing. I'm going to be laughing. It's probably going to be ranked in my top five of the year. Uh, this is just me be being a fan, not a critic, when I say that this is probably going to be in my top five favorite films of the year. It could be number one, it could be number two, or it could be ten. I, I have no clue. I have no doubt that I'm going to love this film, and when I do my best, best of the year list with this film i am not a critic i am a a fast and the furious fanboy who's going there to see explosions stupid crap cars explode cars jump from cliff to cliff be 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 caught by be caught by planes with with this force that these magnets have to push two vehicles off the side of one car would be enough power to crush this car. We had a great bit of comedy. Are they going to space? We're going to have to see. A great bit of comedy with Ludacris. With Ludacris. 
Sorry. Sorry. With Ludacris and Tyrese Gibson. We are going to get Cardi B in here somewhere because it, she is labeled as a top build cast member. Uh, I'm looking to see if there's any buddy else that's really in here. Car Cardi B is probably, probably just going to be in here as a performing artist or something like that. I'm, I'm hoping she's not a big part in, in, in this film. We do get Mia coming back. Georgiana, Jordana Brewster is back. Michael Rooker's coming in as Buddy. I can't wait to see that. I loved him as Yondu from from the Guardians of of the Galaxy films. Uh, I thought I thought he was really good in Brightburn. I'm not well versed in his acting. Uh, he was in the Belko Experiment, a very fun horror film. This film here, F9. Is a film I'm going to day one. I'm going to it day one. I I don't care who's able to go. I don't give a crap if if somebody gets mad. I'm going to this film. This is my most anticipated film of the entire year. This film is going to be in my top five of the year, guarantee you. And I cannot wait to talk about this film come June 25th. I will see all of you guys. For the DVD update, as well as my review of the new uh, of the new Tiny Tim movie on Monday, DVD update Tiny Tim, and I will see all of you guys next time.